Hi, this is Tina Hughes from buildawebsitetonight.com. I just wanted to show you a, a quick video on WordPress and how to put in the information for your images. Now, I know that this can be a bit confusing for some people, so I thought I would just go through it step by step and show you what's required so that your images are named properly. Okay, let's pop over to an image that I have just uploaded. Now I'm in my WordPress dashboard and I've just uploaded one image and this is what I see on the screen. So what I wanted to show to you is what's required for you to type in at this point. Now, uh, just a little tip, the name of an image always needs to have hyphens between the words. Never leave spaces, please, 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 never leave spaces, this is a problem. And I often put the actual size of the image if I have different versions. So this particular one is 600 by 300 pixels, so I've put that 600 by 300. Now, as I scroll down the page, there are more fields to fill in. Now, the very first field has to be changed by you. Please do not leave this. What has been put here, WordPress has automatically put the name of your image without the .jpg but you can see there's a red asterisk here, see, which means you really need to take action here. So what you need to do is type something meaningful for the search engines. So I'm going to type Villefranche sur Mer and it's uh, boats on the harbour, for example. Okay, now you also have some alt text, alternate text, and this depends on which browser someone is using to look at your website. Now what I do here, I just go back up into this first field and copy it and then I come back down here and paste it and I might add another word to, or two. I might put France. Okay, if I wanted a caption below the photo, I could type that here. That will appear on the web page. These other two are behind the scenes. Now in this description, I could say something like visit Villefranche sur mer, which, oh, maybe I'll say in France, which has a beautiful harbour and many shops by the seaside. Just something like that, a little description. Okay, and then the URL below that is my URL where the image is, and as I scroll further down the page, Here's where the size is. So it's taken the medium size and I'm, I'm okay with that. So I'm going to click insert into post. Now this is just to upload the image. Okay, the image is now in the page. And bear in mind, I am not using thesis theme here. This is just a normal theme. So over on the right hand side here is the update button. I'm going to click that. Now I've come over to the live page and I've refreshed it in the menu. Refresh on this browser which is Firefox is under view. View refresh. I'm on a Mac so I use Command or Apple R. If you're on a PC I think it's Control R. Okay so that image has been inserted and I'm happy with that. So if I was to actually look at the details of this image I'm going to hold down my control key click once on the image. I'm going to view some information here. It says view image info. And now you can see here's the text that appears behind the scenes. That's it for this lesson. I hope you've enjoyed it. This is Tina Hughes saying cheerio from buildawebsitetonight.com. Don't forget to pop over to my site and sign up for my newsletter. Thanks. Bye.